1991, the government of the day was panicked about the 75th anniversary of the Easter Rising. They were afraid to do anything in case it would be co-opted for propaganda purposes, so they decided to do nothing. And a group of poets, musicians, singers, actors, um, rented, effectively, Kilmainham Jail for the night and had a concert there. And the fire officer was quite clear, 450 people and no more. And we were afraid to let any more in in case it would be used as an excuse to close it down. So at 450, we closed the doors at 10 to 8. 10 past 8, there's a riot outside the prison of people trying to get in. Because, of course, they all turned up for standard Irish time. And then hanging over the stage was the tricolour from Boland's Mills and the starry plough that Constance Markovitz gave the citizens' army, thereby precipitating Sean O'Casey's resignation. And so that's the stage. Frank Hart, that great Dublin man, stood up to sing. And this poem then records what happened. It's called Kilmainham Jail, Dublin, 1991. Roadies in ponytails, stringing lights and cables. A beer can popped in the corner, echo of sound check. Outside, in the filling yard, hum of expectation. We pour through the narrow gate under the gallows hook in twos and threes, becoming an audience. Before the lights go down, we examine each other shyly. The singer surveys his audience, heat rising to the tricolour and plough overhead as the first words of Galvin's lament climb to invoke James Connolly's ghost, we are joined by the dead. I say this as calmly as I can. The gaunt dead crowded the catwalks, shirt-sleeved, disbelieving. The guards had long since vanished, but these looked down on us, their faces pale. I saw men there who had never made their peace, Men who had failed these many years to accept their fate, stood stunned by gunfire, wounds, fear for their families, paralysed until now by the long volleys of May so long ago. I think that we all felt it, their doubt and their new fear, the emblems so familiar, the setting or upturned faces so unreal. Only the dignity of the singer's art had power to release them. I felt it. I say this calmly. I saw them leave in twos and threes as the song ended. I do not know that there is a heaven, but I saw their souls fan upward like leaves from a dry book, sped out into the night by volleys of applause, sped out, I hope, into some light at last. I do not know that I will ever be the same again. That soft-footed gathering of the dead into their peace was like something out of a book. In Kilmainham Jail, I saw this, I felt this. I say this as calmly and as lovingly as I can. <laughs>